Okay, so today I've got a hard drive here and this hard drive started having some data corruption issues. So I'm not gonna use it anymore. Uh, the data on there, I don't need, I have backups anyways. So let's take this apart and I'll show you all the different components inside the hard drive and how they work. All right, so the first thing we need to do is uh, we gotta get all these screws off the back plate. And um, once we get the screws off this plate, then it'll open up. Okay, come on. All right, so screw number one. Screw number two. The cool thing about one of these spinning disk hard drives is that once you open it up, you can see all the major parts. You can see how it works. And um, it's, it's pretty cool to look at. Now, if you try taking an SSD apart, all you're gonna find inside are a bunch of chips. Like it's not interesting to look at. There aren't any moving parts. Um, you know, it's just less interesting of a device to take apart. Screw number five. The reason why they have these black stickers over some of the screws and not others is because the ones that have black stickers on them, those screw holes go through the plate into the cavity where the actual hard drive sits. And then the first three that we took off, the ones that didn't have any stickers, those screw holes just go directly into the black body of the hard drive. This should be the last screw. Let's just take it off and then we'll try taking the hard drive back plate off as well. I thought I took off one, two, three, four, yeah, seven. Uh, okay, yeah, I found it. I am missing a screw. There is one additional screw underneath this label. All right, here we go. That is screw number eight, the mystery screw. The label there aren't any other screws so this thing should just yep pop right off there we go cool so now we have a nice view of the inside of the hard drive and you can see how reflective that disc is it's like a perfect mirror in fact you probably can't find anything else in your house right now that is as good of a mirror as this hard drive Okay, this corner, this is the air filter of the hard drive. Um, so it's just this little piece of fabric that sits here. And then as the hard drive spins, as air travels through the air filter, it removes any contaminants that might have gotten into the hard drive. Anyways, I'm going to start to see if I can remove some of these disks. Um, so I'm just going to start unscrewing things as I find them. Right, I need to unscrew these six screws from the center of the disc. Okay, so one last screw to go and we should be able to start taking out the hard drive disks. And yes, I'm definitely ruining the hard drive by just smudging my dirty fingers all over it. It's kind of sad. The hard drive was a perfect mirror, but you can definitely see all my fingerprints all over the disk drive now. Okay, so there's that little ring uh, that was holding on the disks. And um, you know, one thing that is definitely cool about looking at all these parts is that they're all so very precisely made. Um, that little ring that we just took off, it was perfect. And that's not the case for most things, most appliances, um, automobiles, definitely not. A lot of other devices that we have around the house, they're just not made so precisely, well, because they don't need to. But hard drives, if you hope to store two terabytes of data on three 
spinning metal discs, then yes, you're going to have to make them very precise if you want to have any hope of being able to actually reliably store data. Okay, so this yellow part here, that's the um, place where the hard drive magnetic heads park themselves. Uh, nothing too special about it. So we're just going to take that out. And um, you can see the remaining two disks in the hard drive. Okay, so far we've taken out one disk. We've taken out um, the piece where the magnetic heads park themselves. Uh, now I'm taking out this cover. Um, I'll just try to pry it off here. Underneath it is one of the permanent magnets in the hard drive. And <laughs> this is always one of the fun parts of uh, disassembling hard drives is this magnet that's here, it's very powerful. Uh, you know, it's probably one of the more powerful magnets that you're going to get to play with. And if you compare it against just like a regular fridge magnet or something like that, orders of magnitude more powerful. Okay, I'm just going to start to take off uh, some more screws from this thing. Um, because my next goal is to remove both the magnetic head of the hard drive and the last two uh, hard disks. One of the coolest aspects of a hard drive design is how the hard drive heads can remain so close to the disk without touching it. So the hard drive magnetic head, basically it uses um, an electric magnetic field to be able to read and write data to the hard drive. And, you know, for you to be able to store such a dense amount of data, two terabytes of data on three disks, each individual bit of the hard drive is incredibly small. And so the magnetic head has to be incredibly close to the hard drive to be able to pick up bits at such a fine resolution. But on the other hand, the magnetic heads can't touch the hard drive, otherwise they'll just scratch the hard drive out of spins. So what happens is the magnetic head floats on a little layer of air. And as the hard drive spins, if the magnetic head is too close to the hard drive, that air will push it up away from the hard drive. And if it's too far away, it'll float back down to the right height. And so that's how they maintain a very, very precise distance from the hard drive um, without actually touching the hard drive with the magnetic head. Okay, so I should be able to just dump out. Okay, well, here's one of the two remaining hard disks. And, um, you know, I want to get this last one out as well. I need to take out the spacer that's between the second and third one. Um, so I should be able to just... And so now what's remaining is this magnetic head and um, one last remaining hard disk. Okay, in the meantime, I'm going to take out this uh, connector that connects the magnetic head's ribbon cable to the logic board of the hard drive. Okay, so I just got to take out two screws holding this connector in place. All right, that's both of them. So you can see the metal connectors um, for the individual pins, and you can see that it's connected to the magnetic head by that ribbon cable. So that's all three hard drives removed. 
here's the uh, actual magnetic head from the hard drive. That red part at the end, that's actually a coil of wire. And when you run electricity through that coil, it acts as an electromagnet rather than like an electric motor or like a servo or something like that. To get the precision needed for doing that, they use magnets to precisely control where that read and write head is over the disk. Here's a close-up shot of the read and write head. Um, let's see if I can get it in focus for you. There. So you can see it's very, very small, and you can tell I've already kind of mangled it just when I was trying to take it off. And that's one of the cool things about a hard drive is everything involved, the bits of data, the magnetic head, they're so, so tiny, but the overall structure of the hard drive is quite big and quite easy to see. So when you take apart a hard drive, you can see pretty much everything that's going on. Here's a close up of the connector. Um, that's where it plugs in into the logic board. And the logic board on the back, that's that green board, that, that's what controls the actual magnetic head. It interprets the signals coming from it and um, passes that data onto the computer, as well as receiving commands from the computer on what to do. Uh, here's another close-up shot of the magnetic head. Yeah, and if this hard drive wasn't working before I took it apart, it's definitely broken now. I mean, just look at how mangled these uh, read and write heads are. Okay, so there is one more permanent magnet in here. Um, I don't think I'm gonna really take it out. I can try, but um, oh, there we go. We already saw it when we were taking the first one out. It's basically the same thing. All right, so, well, that's not how they originally went in there, but we'll just put it in there. Um, and then on the back side of this hard drive, uh, let's see if we can get a close-up shot of the logic board. So this green circuit board, and what a lot of people don't realize is that each and every hard drive is basically like its own computer. It has its own processor. It has other chips that process the signal. In addition to that, all modern hard drives support smart so they can, in, they can report data about what's happening in the hard drive, any errors, the temperature of the hard drive back to the computer. And so all of this complex logic that's what the hard drive needs its processors for. Anyways, if you learned something from this video, hit the like button, I really appreciate it. And if you wanna check out my other videos, hit the subscribe button so that you'll see them when they come out. Thanks.